Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about Elastic Beanstalk service in AWS. I'm going to explain all the topics and the components of this service along with the hands-on lab where we will be deploying Python application on Elastic Beanstalk. So watch this video till the end if you want to know how to deploy an application on Beanstalk which will be helpful if you are giving your AWS certifications or if you just want to learn this service. Let's get started. AWS Elastic Beanstalk is platform as a service which means you just need to deploy your application source code and AWS is going to manage all the infrastructure components. To help you explain this, let's go to the management console. I'm here in my management console. If you want to visit Elastic Beanstalk, you can search for Elastic Beanstalk in the search box or you can also find it in the compute section here. So I'm going to click on Elastic Beanstalk and let's do a hands-on. Along with the hands-on, I'm going to explain all the components and the things you need to know about this service. So as mentioned, Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service. So AWS intent of you using this service is just focus on the code and AWS is going to manage all the infrastructure components. Let's create an application. I'm going to click on create application here and let's give it a name. So I'm going to name this as Cloud Champ POC, something like this. So Cloud Champ POC and then you can add tags if you want to. They are optional. I'm going to skip tags for now. AWS Elastic Beanstalk supports all these different languages or platforms you have .NET on Windows, Docker, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Tomcat, all of these. Let's go and try out with Python application first. Once you select the platform, you also get the option to select the version and the platform branch. So I'm going to go with the latest one. Here you have an option to select deploy your application. So you can either use application code or you can upload your own code. So you can upload your code from your own machine or you can choose from S3 bucket. So let's, let me show you how you can do it from your local machine. So if I click on local file, I need to put the zip or the var file to of my application. So I'm going to deploy uh, an application which is going to be Python application. So I'm going to choose the file name which is python.zip. You can choose your own file or you can get started with the sample application. So once you do this, you can add tags for application code. You also have options to configure more options which we will be learning in the later on, later on. But for now, let's go, let's get started and create application here. Once I click on the application, AWS Elastic Beanstalk is now going to create the application without me managing any instances, without me managing any load balancers or anything. You can see it says creating CloudChamp POC environment using Elastic Beanstalk this. So environment is starting and if you see now everything, Elast EC2 instances, load balancers, auto scaling group, Elastic IP security groups, everything will be created and managed by Elastic Beanstalk. You as a developer don't need to manage anything. If you see here, it says create a target group named this. So if I open my target group in the new tab, let's go here in the, in the EC2 dashboard. And if I scroll down, you can see a target group should be created and a target group has created AWS EB. So right now we don't have any targets in here, but if you wait for some time, you will see that the security, all the instances and the target group along with load balancer will be created. So the idea is when you create an environment, Elastic Beanstalk uses CloudFormation in the backend. So if I go to CloudFormation here, you should see a template or a stack should be created. So CloudFormation in the CloudFormation. So CloudFormation is a service that lets you create infrastructure as code. And if you see here, this is the one which is creating service right now. And you can see it is in progress, it's created in progress. So once the application is created, this will be in complete state. So right now we will wait and we can then see that the application is created by Elastic Beanstalk. So in exam, if you have a question, like if a developer wants to deploy an application on AWS without managing any AWS services or infrastructure, then the answer is going to be Elastic Beanstalk. So remember this, there will be an exam question on Elastic Beanstalk. So I hope you understood what is Elastic Beanstalk and how can we use it. To, to get more idea, let's see what is the definition of Elastic Beanstalk by AWS itself. So I'm going to go to AWS documentation and let's see what does AWS has to tell about Beanstalk. So here it says with Elastic Beanstalk, you can quickly deploy and manage application in AWS cloud without worrying about infrastructure that runs the application. Elastic Beanstalk reduces the management complexity without restricting choice or control, which means just deploy your application code and don't think about any infrastructure components. AWS Beanstalk is going to do that for you. 
So you can read about Beanstalk if you want to from here, it, from the AWS documentation, it's a good resource. But now, if you see here, Beanstalk has created auto scaling group and load balancer, CloudWatch alarm, CloudWatch alarm, another CloudWatch alarm, and then instance deployment. Uh, so let's see all of these components here. So I'm going to go to EC2 dashboard now, and we should see an instance, a load balancer, auto scaling group, all of these things. So I'm going to go to my instances and I should have, so you can see one instance is running CloudChamp PUC environment. It's in, the status checks are in the initializing state. You can see a role has been attached to them as well. Uh, security group is attached. All of these are done automatically without you managing all of these. If you don't use Elastic Beanstalk, you have to manually create this instances, deploy your application on this. And you also see there should be a load balancer created here. So we have a load balancer created which is in active state this is a dns name for load balancer a target group is created auto scaling groups should also be there so an auto scaling group is also created all is done by elastic beanstalk so after some time it will be created and we should get a dns name to so you can say it says successfully launched poc environment so we have launched our first application using elastic beanstalk uh, so this is how easy it is just deploy your application code and Elastic Beanstalk will manage all the infrastructure components. So once this is done, we should get a DNS name or a C name, which will be used to access our application. So inside uh, Elastic Beanstalk, you have things like environment, application, change history, all of these. So right now we have created an application and it is a Python application running on Amazon Linux. So if you see here, this is the C name I was talking about. You can access your application through this and the application name is CloudChamp PUC. So if I click on this, I should be inside my Python application. So let's click on it and see what has Elastic Beanstalk created for us. So this is what a, this is what a Python application is. Uh, it has a, it is a basic Python application. So it says, congratulations, your first Beanstalk Python application is now running with your own dedicated environment in AWS Cloud. You can deploy your own application code and it can be anything it can be either python it can be java it can be node.js it can be docker container anything everything is supported by cloud champ so you can see all the details are present here which instance is present uh, what is the instance deployment everything is here you can go to the environment you can see configuration settings here so we have configuration settings like what is the software what are the what is the instance how much capacity is provided to the load balancer or to the uh, instances then you have load balancer option here listener rolling update security group monitoring all of these are present here you can also check the logs of uh, your environment if you want you can get logs last 100 lines of logs and then you can download this log files in your local machine so if I click on download here I should get all the logs here which is very amazing feature of cloud uh, of AWS Elastic Beanstalk and then you have health checks you can check all your health about the instance here in the health section then you have monitoring you can check the monitoring status of the application of your instances what is the health check and you also have alarms if you have any alarm setup you can see it here right now we don't have any cloudwatch alarms so we we don't have it here next you have updates you can also manage update and the history of the update will be shown here then cloudwatch events are present here or uh, not cloudwatch events the events by uh, elastic beanstalk you can filter this out by trace debug all these different options and lastly you can see tags we don't have any tags here so that's all so this is how you deploy your application on elastic beanstalk i hope you have the clear idea of what elastic beanstalk is and how to how you can deploy your applications so right now if i show you here right we have a application which is right now running so this is a previous application which i created earlier but you just need to focus on this cloud champ poc environment if i click on this you should see the health is okay it was created at this time last modified at this time the url is this running version is this and the platform is python all of these are options are present here you can also see the tiering so i'm going to explain what is application tier there are two different tiers web server and worker uh, tiers so we're going to learn about that later on but if i go inside this you can see all the uh, all the information about it let's say you have an application and you have made some changes so you have a second version of the application you can also update it by providing the new source code here and you have deployment preferences so we have dif different deployment policies in elastic beanstalk you have all at once rolling rolling with additional batch immutable and traffic splitting all at once means when you deploy your application it changes the version for every 
instance or every application at a time with rolling you do it in batches uh, you will complete update of version in a single batch and then continue in the second batch this means it there's no problem with downtime or anything when you use rolling same with rolling with additional batch where you will create an extra instances uh, while deploying or while updating your application uh, immutable means the whole infrastructure is going to be replicated and a new infrastructure will be created when you update your application from version 1 to version 2. I'm going to show you that later on but for now these are all the deployment policies you get. Let's go and see our application which is here then you have environments so I have an environment created which is CloudChamp environment. So if I click on uh, this and show you all the actions you have all these different options like cloning your environment if you want to copy the same environment in another region. You can do that using clone environment. You can also delete all of these by using terminate environment, but not now. Create a new environment. And I'm going to choose the, so you have two different environment tiers here, web server and worker environment. So if you see here, it says run a website, web application or web API that serves HTTP request. Whenever you have website, web application or web server that is going to use HTTP request, it is going to be web server environment. Usually it has a load balancer and an auto instance. Uh, AWS EC2 instance. Uh, the next you have worker environment. So worker environments are are suitable for workloads where you have SQS queue and it it is used for running run a worker application that processes long running workloads on demand or perform task on a schedule. So whenever you have a application which is doing some task or uh, performing some applications using different services, you can use worker environment. We are going to choose the web server environment because I want to just deploy an application which will be hosted on HTTP. Uh, websites or web server so click on select option here i'm going to name this as broad let's say i'm going to uh, update my existing environment you can also choose the domain if you want to uh, or else you can leave it blank for auto generated uh, domain by elastic beanstalk then i'm going to choose the python application again because the updated version is going to be in python but you have different options to choose next i'm going to upload my own code so upload your own code and i'm this time i'm going to upload the second version of my file so i'm going to choose file and then inside this i'm going to choose the python v2.zip here i have made some changes from to the existing environment and i'm going to choose that then you have configure more options which you are so here you can make changes to your applications or you can make changes of what infrastructure do you want so you can choose to have single instance or single instance with spot instance high availability where you get options like load balances and auto scaling group you also have options with high availability using spot instances and on demand or you can choose custom configurations where you can define how do you want the configuration to be but i'm going to go with single instance just to keep my bill low and be in the free tier eligible option so I'm going to click on create environment option here. Once the environment is created, uh, you can see the same things are going to be replicated. Everything is going to be managed by Elastic Beanstalk. So the environment is now going to be created. Uh, so you can deploy your applications like this on Elastic Beanstalk. So we have seen how to deploy an application and what are the different components like environments, web server environment, web tier, worker environment, what are the deployment policies. So you can see right now this this environment is now in pending state so once it is in ok state we can then access it uh, you can also you can also update the existing one so let's go and update this one as well so i'm going to choose file option here and choose the same python zip to version and i'm going to choose the we have an option to choose the deployment policy so we can choose the rolling rolling with additional batch immutable traffic splitting or all at once i'm going to choose all at once and then click on deploy option here once you click on deploy option the same python application that we had is going to be updated to another version so let's wait for that to happen you can see the health check is now running and you can find the events here as well so deploying a new version to the instance environment update is starting so you can find all the uh, all the events action here we can also refresh it so right now it says it has been done and if i go here open the app you can see an update is present which means earlier it was uh, gray in color now it is red in color so this is how you update the environment version or the application version from version 1 to version 2 using all the different deployment policies like like all at once or rolling or rolling with batches immutable and traffic splitting so this is very important for you to understand when you when you want to uh, prepare for your certification exam I hope you have an idea of how to deploy an application on Elastic Beanstalk. In the next video, I am going to show you how to deploy a Docker application where we will be deploying a game 
using Docker on Elastic Beanstalk. So watch this, watch the video. If you want to learn how to deploy an app or Docker application on Elastic Beanstalk, if you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. All right, so I hope you understood the video and you now have an understanding of how to deploy an application on Elastic Beanstalk. If you understood the video, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos on AWS, Cloud and DevOps. Also, if you want, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I, I post up notes related to DevOps tools like Kubernetes and uh, DevOps other tools. So please, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Yeah, that's all. Watch the next video if you want to see how to deploy a Docker application on Elastic Beanstalk. Thank you and have a good day.